coming. It's a shame. You're just taking advantage of people, you know. a little bit to Daryl out, uh, out of Proverbs the wicked earn deceptive wages Daryl, once again, we've been out here watching you take people's money again. The Word of God says in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 18, that the wicked earn deceptive wages, but one who sows righteousness gets a sure reward. You're out here deceiving people, Daryl, as if you're a person in need, when you and I both know that you're not. You're a professional panhandler, a man who has chosen not to work, but instead to lead people to believe that you're in need. And so you prey upon the kindness of other people. You prey upon the sympathies of other people. And the wicked flee when no one pursues, Daryl. You're in need of Christ. God can forgive you for your deception. God can forgive you for the way you deceive people out of their money and their goods. But you must come to God on His terms, Daryl, for God does not negotiate with the wicked. He's provided one way for you to be forgiven, Daryl, and that's through faith in Jesus Christ. Turn to Christ and live, Daryl, while God's given you time. It's a gospel you've heard many times from us. Same people who have offered you legitimate work. Turn to Christ, Daryl, and stop stealing from people. We've known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. 
Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. <clears throat> no one born of God makes a practice of sinning. For God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor is the one who does not love his brother. And stealing from people is not love, Daryl. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. How are you guys? Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Daryl called you guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because he says that you're harassing him by telling him what he's doing is stealing PC. Yeah. So I've explained to him that about the First Amendment and that you are not, it's not harassment. Uh, I told him that you're allowed to be here and if he's allowed to be here, yep. but I suggested that he, if he doesn't like it, he moved to a different spot today. So that's kind of where we're at. So uh, I don't want to take a lot of your time. Could I just give you a little background from today, a little context? Sure. Okay. Um, so you guys see me out. I'm, I'm assuming you guys see me out quite a bit. Okay. And uh, Daryl happened to be here when I got here at this corner. Okay. Um, I've had conversations with Daryl over the years, mm -hmm. um, usually friendly. Okay. Uh, we've we've offered Daryl work. Okay. Daryl has said, I'm not I'm not going to work because I make more money doing this than if I go and get a job. And he can do that if he wants to. Money. Right. Can't right. Stop. Right. 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 And you know, I, I, I didn't. I, I stay here. Daryl isn't happy with us, so I keep my distance. Um, but like I would call out to anybody else, hey Daryl, you know, you need to repent. You need to put your trust in Christ. Stop deceiving people. Sure. And and it was like, it was like maybe a thirty seconds. But I'm not barraging him, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not calling out to people who are giving him things. You know, I, I've seen several people give him groceries and money and what have you, and I'm not interfering with that in any way, and I have no intent to. And he didn't, he didn't accuse you. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, and then I started reading scripture, but that was I just do that. I read, right. I read scripture. So, sure. so my intent is not to harass him. I, I want what's best for Daryl. I know I can't change his mind or his heart. I can't force him to do sure. anything, and I'm not, and I'm not going to try. So. Well, like I told him, my suggestion to you would just leave him be. Yeah. yeah, and and I have uh, certainly I'm not telling Daryl to leave. I'm not telling. Hey, this right. is my corner right. or anything like that. He, it's a public sidewalk. He's welcome right. to be wherever he wants. Right. You know. So. Sorry, you guys had to come out. Well, before we get paid. Sure. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Still, I know you got better things to do, though. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. Well, have a good day. All right. You too. Yep. Thanks for coming out. Stay safe, guys. God bless you. Okay. I'm going to stay just a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, can you open your car, sir? Oh, yeah, sure. I, I just don't want I just don't want the people driving by to think that the police are asking you to leave or, or anything like that. You know? Because right, yeah. I don't want them to get the wrong impression of what the officers are doing. Right, right, right. Yeah, makes sense.